Like heterosexual men who are straight men are not supposed to be wearing purses. They're not supposed to be wearing dresses. They're not supposed to be behaving in an effeminate manner. I swear to God, man, I don't know what the fuck the world is coming to, but every single time I turn on the television, I see something that is attacking manhood. Like, I'm, I'm fucking sick of it. If you look at every single thing that's been going on lately, okay, you got the situation with the Boy Scouts. Now they're allowing girls to be in the Boy Scouts, but you don't hear them saying nothing about allowing boys to be in the Girl Scouts. It's like every single male space, not even, not even, you're not even, your mental isn't even safe. You understand what I'm saying? Every single physical male space where we go to be men is under attack. You understand what I'm saying? Every single physical space, if we have something that's considered men, whatever, women yell, oh, that's sexist, this is sexist, that's sexist, you know what I'm saying? But then in addition to that, they're attacking us mentally as well. You look at look at the NBA. Look at all of the NBA players. What are they wearing before when they're walking into the locker room, getting ready to go play a game? What are they wearing? Some of the most effeminate shit known to fucking man. What are they doing in football? They got grown men wearing pink fucking uh 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 cleats, pink fucking ribbons pink fucking helmets pink every goddamn thing to to i guess to promote breast cancer awareness but how many men suffer from breast cancer like why are they not promoting prostate cancer awareness after all the nfl is a male dominated sport there are no women in the nfl so why are we yo i'm getting sick of this shit and it's getting to the point where you can't help but be what they call insensitive. Because if we keep being fucking, if we keep catering to them and every fucking thing they want and allowing them in all of our fucking spaces, before you know it, they're going to dominate everything. And I don't mean dominated in the sense of competition. I mean dominated in the sense of they will rule every motherfucking thing because we have allowed them to rule everything. Now, I know what you're going to say. Well, damn, angry man, you're being kind of insensitive. You're being kind of sexist. And the only thing I can say to that is grow, go screw yourself because I see what's going on. I see what's going on. They're taking every last one of our heroes, every last one of the people that we look at and look up to, and they're turning them effeminate. You look at the NBA ball players. A lot of kids growing up, a lot of boys growing up look up to them. You feel what I'm saying? They got fucking, uh, uh, they got the damn ball players wearing effeminate things. You look at the rappers. A lot of little kids grow up looking at rappers and stuff. You got them wearing dresses. You got them wearing purses. You got your young thugs and all of them doing things that are super metrosexual. Now, here's the thing. If you're a gay man or you're a transsexual man, that's your business. Do you, okay? That's your business. I don't give a shit about none of that. You understand what I'm saying? In fact, it's expected that you would be wearing those type of fucking things. But don't turn around and say that the average heterosexual male, you feel what I'm saying, is supposed to be wearing shit like that. Like heterosexual men who are straight men are not supposed to be wearing purses. They're not supposed to be wearing dresses. They're not supposed to be behaving in an effeminate manner. And I see what's happening. I see what's happening right now in this world that we live in, this gynocentric mess that we live in, where in Western culture, they are just trying their best to eliminate genders. They are trying their best to eliminate the differences between genders. And those differences are there for a reason. They're there for a purpose. And somebody once said, when you start playing with the gender roles in a society, you're looking at the collapse of that society. And I truly believe that. But I am sick and tired of this bullshit everywhere I look it's bombarding me I'm sick of it I'm I'm disgusted by it 
You know, there used to be a time where we took pride in being men. And not only did we take pride in being men, we didn't fucking allow women to take over our spaces. We didn't allow women to define for us what manhood is. We defined what manhood is. And we need to get back to that. We need to get back to the point where we dismiss their silliness for what it really is, which is childishness and bullshit. Because I'm not even joking, man. I'm sick of this shit. Every time I fucking look up every single television show I watch, every single sport that I watch, every single everything, it has to be like there's only a few, few places left for the red-blooded American male. There's only a few places left. Everything else is you got to be sensitive to this. You got to be sensitive to that. You got you got to accept this. You got to accept that. Don't tell me what I should accept. Don't tell me what I have to accept. I accept what I want to accept. And I'm going to tell you what I don't accept. I don't accept this war on masculinity. I do not fucking accept it. I outright reject it. I am fucking sick of it. And something needs to be done about it. Something needs to be done about it. I am sick and tired of it. We don't infiltrate and try to bombard or take over female spaces. I don't even watch we. You understand what I'm saying? I don't even watch female programming, much less go to female events, female uh, organizations, female dominated whatever and try to take over it. I don't do that. Most men don't do that. We allow you to have your thing. Allow us to have ours. Leave us the fuck alone. It's getting to the point where now a man has to become a fucking monk, go climb Mount Everest or some shit, and live in a goddamn boonie somewhere just so he can be a fucking man. It's ridiculous, man. It, it, yo, if you guys know what I'm talking about, if you guys feel what I'm saying, that's funny how that ding was kind of like, it was dinging like every time I was making a point. That's, that's kind of funny. But... If you guys feel what I'm saying and you see what I'm seeing on television, in the media, out in public, you see all of this bullshit, let me know what you think in the comment section below. As always, remember to like, share, and subscribe. It's your boy, the target hitter. I'm going to holler at you later. Deuces. Yo, you're listening to the Angry Man channel on YouTube, coming at you to bring you the best content YouTube has to offer. If you haven't contributed to the channel yet, all you have to do is scroll down to the description, click any one of the links below donations. You can go to paypal.me forward slash support the angry man, or you can go to gofundme.com forward slash support the angry man, or you could check out some of my exclusive videos over on Patreon at patreon.com forward slash the angry man you can also follow me at all social media at angry man channel deuces